Hey guys, it's Mr. Monarch here right now. I'll show you how you can start making money with the Binance Peer to Peer Marketplace as a complete beginner. So let's give it a shot. If you're watching this video, chances are you might already be familiar with the way Binance.com works. At the end of the day, they've already got about 90 million registered users. And so chances are you're already one of them. Now, guys, have no fear. This is not going to be one of those extremely complicated and technical tutorials where you're going to watch the whole video and still not understand a thing. This is going to be far from that, meaning that I'm going to have a more beginner-friendly approach where I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step. And so by the end of the video, you will have a full and complete understanding of how the Binance Peer-to-Peer -peer Marketplace works and the earning opportunities it provides. There is going to be a comprehensive article on Binance.com that's going to explain everything you need to know. They are going to have a lot of useful resources here. But instead of wasting your time reading through it, I'm about to break it down for you. I've done the research so you don't have to. Now guys, in order to get the gist of how this process is going to work, let's just imagine the following scenario, right? Let's just say that we found a product that is in very high demand, meaning that people are actively searching for it, they really want to buy it, but at the same time, it is in very low supply. And that means that only a few sellers are actually providing it to the clients. In order to make it even more obvious, let's say we've just found some sort of shock resistant phone case that is really selling like crazy and people are really eager to get one of those. However, the supply is really low. Now, moving forward, we are going to take advantage of it. Whenever we're talking about selling, high demand and low supply means earning opportunities and that's what we're going to be focusing on. And now moving forward, let's just see we decide to make a listing on amazon.com that way we can reach out to more and more people and at the same time we're going to keep most of their profits that literally means we are going to make use of amazon.com as a way to promote our product as a way to reach more potential clients now of course we are not going to create those products ourselves you don't have to manufacture them we are just going to outsource them meaning that we're going to simply purchase the shock resistant phone cases or whatever other item you have found from another place and sell it for a profit it's not that difficult right now moving forward we also need to take into account profit margins we need to take into account the fact there are going to be some expenses first off you need to purchase that item then you need to ship it and there are going to be certain expenses you need to keep in mind and we need to make sure the process is going to be profitable because we don't want to sell at a loss, right? Well, the process is going to work in a very similar way when it comes to the Binance peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. Now, you're not going to sell shock resistant phone cases as you might expect because Binance is a crypto exchange. It is a centralized one. However, it's going to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer transactions and I'm about to explain exactly how that works. Instead of looking for a product that is in high demand, you're simply going to search for a combination of cryptocurrency and fiat currency and payment methods that is in really hot demand. That is going to be the first step. Moving forward, the second step would be strategizing your pricing. Just like on Amazon, you need to make sure you end up being profitable. You don't want to sell at a loss. And finally, you will be able to promote your services. And you need to make sure that you support harder to reach payment methods in order to increase your profits. But now let's just see that we have the best offer out there. We are selling a certain cryptocurrency that is in really high demand. And at the same time, we are facilitating all sorts of hard to reach payment methods. However, even if we have the best offer out there, people are not finding about it because we are not promoting that offer, right? But luckily for us, there is actually going to be a way that you can buy and even sell ads on the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace on Binance. Binance's P2P ad posting feature is designed to meet the different goals and needs of the crypto community. You can set a thin price spread to reach more customers or set a wide price spread to generate more revenue. And the best part about this process is that you actually get to set your profit. Just take a look here. You can either go for a fixed profit or a floating price. Each one of those options is going to have its own advantages, but I'm not going to dive really deep into that matter. You can do some further research on your own. The main takeaway here is that if you do set a fixed profit, and let's say you want to earn 5%. Well, if the price of USDT is currently 0.99 US dollars and you set that rate, that's going to have a set price of 1.04 US dollars. You're selling something worth 0.99 for 1.04. What does that mean? Well, you're getting 5 cents for one single transaction and that's how you're going to make a profit. It may seem very little right now, but just keep in mind we are talking about big numbers here. This is going to be 5%. That can be 5% of $100, 5% of $1 million. As you can see, the amounts are going to increase steadily. And in practice, here is how this is going to work. You see, you can connect to any investment platform. That can be eToro, that can be Binance. And most of the times, if you want to make a trade, if you want to purchase some cryptocurrency, 
you're going to have to pay the price that the exchange asks. Here's what I mean. As you can see right here, ETH is currently listed at $29.17. However, if I wanted to purchase it, here's the price I get. $29.76. And that is a major spread. But here's the thing. If I want to purchase Ethereum and if I want to purchase it on eToro, I've got no way around it. Because this is the price. Because this is the price they're asking. And thus, this is the price I'm going to have to pay. There is simply no way around it. However, when it comes to the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace, I can keep searching for offers. If I don't like this particular offer and I think this seller is ripping me off in terms of the price they're asking, well, I can just keep on searching and find a better offer and an even better one and so on and so forth and guys here's my actual favorite way of generating cash using the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace on binance that is going to be done by taking advantage of crypto arbitrage now in order to fully understand how arbitrage is going to work let's just take a look at binance.com and at the same time let's also keep an eye on each sorrow as you can see the price of ethereum is going to be slightly different ETH is currently listed at 29.51 on binance while if I wanted to purchase it on eToro, that would cost me $29.76. The spread is not huge. The arbitrage here is the difference between those two rates. It is not huge, but if we are talking about huge volumes of money, that is going to really matter. And to be even more precise, here is Binance's example. Let's say that Bitcoin's price on the spot market on Binance is 43,117 USDT. However, at the same time on the P2P, the peer-to-peer -peer market, there is an offer to sell Bitcoin at 43,841 USD. You can pretty much just buy Bitcoin at the initial rate on the spot market and then sell it at a higher rate on the peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. And that is how you're essentially begging in the profits, taking advantage of the arbitrage. And most of this process is going to be done automatically because here's the thing, it all sounds great in theory. On paper, everything sounds great, but in practice, it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that. It is really tricky and the times here are very, very small, meaning that you need to be really fast. And there is going to be a very similar thing when it comes to fiat. You don't necessarily have to do this based on Bitcoin USDT. You can also do this based on Bitcoin USD or Bitcoin Euro. Most of the times taking advantage of arbitrage on two different crypto exchanges is pretty much impossible. Because let's just imagine the following scenario. Let's just say we wanted to purchase ETH at this price on Binance and then sell it for a profit on eToro. In theory, that works, and we're going to back in $20 or so, but in practice, it's not going to work, because when you make a withdrawal on one platform, that's going to charge you a commission, and when you make a deposit on the other platform, that's going to charge you a commission as well, and it's going to take time, perhaps the rates are going to change in the meantime, and that is how you're pretty much just wasting all of your profits. You're not ending up making a single dollar, you might actually end up selling at a loss. And you don't want to do that, right? That is why ideally you want to do this sort of arbitrage trading on the same platform. And that was a great example. Using the spot market on Binance and at the same time the peer-to-peer -peer market in order to grab yourself a good profit. And guys, the earning opportunities on Binance do not stop there. There are going to be countless other earning opportunities that we can actually take advantage of as complete beginners. And here's what I mean. One of them is going to be Binance staking. Meaning that once you have a certain amount of cryptocurrency, once you have a certain number of crypto assets in your Binance wallet, you can start staking those, which means you're literally going to put your crypto assets to work and that is going to generate an APY, a return on investment. And that can range from 1%, 2% all the way up to 10 or 15%, depending on the cryptocurrency you would like to stake. That is going to help the development of that technology. And at the same time, you're literally earning passive income. So it's a win-win situation, right? And here's perhaps one of my favorite ways of earning an extra back on Binance. That's going to be done through their affiliate program. Here's the thing guys, you don't have to keep this whole information for yourself. You can share it with your friends and if you do, you're actually going to get 50% lifetime commissions on every qualified trade. Here's what I mean. Let's just say your friend is looking to invest $1,000 into Ethereum using Binance and let's imagine there's going to be a 1% commission. That means they have to pay Binance $10 in order to actually perform that trade, in order to make the investment, right? I hope that makes sense. Well, if you are the one who invited your friends to the platform, you're going to receive a 50% commission of that. In other words, you're getting $5 for that trade regardless of the outcome. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Now, your friend might be earning some cash, might be making some profits, or they might be losing money. It doesn't matter. As long as you are the one who invited them to the platform, you're going to receive that 50% commission regardless. 
and that is how you're going to make money both in a bullish market and in a bearish market because you don't care about the outcome of the trades. Now that really gets me excited because it's just a great earning opportunity that doesn't require much effort, let's face it. As long as you're able to bring new people to Binance, you're going to get paid constantly. And now guys, again, if you want to dive a little bit deeper into the technicalities of how the Binance peer-to-peer -peer marketplace is going to work, you can do the research on Binance.com and I can assure you, you're going to find all the resources you need for free. There's even going to be a few blog posts that you can check out. For instance, how to create a net here, 10 reasons why the P2P is the best way to buy local Bitcoin in your currency or share your ads and get more trades on Binance P2P platform and so on and so forth. You get a point. That's it for now. Take massive action and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.